show, I sold the Lexus. And it is quite, um, quite the story of how we came about this van. Good morning. We have a very long day ahead of us, but I'm excited. After driving three hours to get to this van and being in a rush, I was feeling really anxious and I really wanted to fill it out and make the decision based on how I was feeling and I was just so anxious that it was really hard for me to do that. But I bought the van and I drove her home all three hours and the more I drove, the less anxious I felt and the more that time went on the more I felt like I made the right decision buying this van was something that literally happened so fast and it it kind of I just felt like it was completely meant to be and I'm so happy with my decision to say yes and bite the bullet and take her home I am extremely happy and I'm oh I can't tell you how excited I am for this next chapter in my story, I guess, if you will. Um, so let's get back to kind of explaining what this video is about. So a few months ago, I was in a position where I needed a daily driver that I could have a car seat in because at the time we had sold our Jeep and all we had were the big bus and Minion, which is a smaller bus that we were selling both of those so we didn't have anything that we could drive around with with ember so i wound up getting the lexus and it was an amazing car and i initially planned on traveling cross country in that with ember but after having it physically i realized pretty quickly that it just wasn't realistic to try and rooftop tent camp especially in the winter time with a toddler and my heart just wasn't in it i still wanted a van like if you've been around long enough you know that i have wanted a van for a very long time back in 2020 i bought a dodge ram conversion van and i built that out and traveled in that for a while before i decided i wanted something i could stand up in and i tried really hard to find a sprinter or a promaster but at the time it just wasn't in my price range. So I wound up with a schoolie, a, a little four window short bus. And I built that out actually twice that had two builds in it and sold it. And then that's when I wound up getting the Lexus. Although I was still looking at vans and stuff. And um, Isaac wound up buying a truck that had a um, room for Ember's car seat. And so we talked about it and he knew that I really wanted a van and so um, because he has the truck now and we can take Ember in that, uh, it wasn't a big deal for me to get something that I couldn't necessarily travel with Ember in right now. So I will go into all the details of this van um, in a, my next video. I'm going to do a full 
pre-build tour and give you all the specs and details and the price. And as I'm building this van out, that'll be a complete series. And I will share with you guys step-by-step uh, -step how I'm building it and also exactly how much it's going to cost. That being said, um, I it only has two seats in it. There's nowhere for me to put Ember if I, I can't travel with her in it right now. That will change. But right now that's uh, where we're at. And so the only car we have that we can take Ember around in is the truck, which is fine. Um, but it all kind of happened so fast. So I wound up putting the Lexus up for sale and it had been up for sale for months. I had tons of interest. A few people came and looked at it, but overall I had a really weird experience selling the Lexus. A lot of people would make plans and appointments to come check it out and then they would just ghost me and reply later trying to make plans again. And this happened a lot with a lot of different people. And then um, one day I get this message from this guy who was from Hawaii and he wanted to buy it and he couldn't come look at it beforehand. He just wanted to buy it because he was going to have to ship it back to Hawaii. He was going to have to fly here to get it. And so we planned all that. That kind of happened really fast. And I knew I had a bunch of, um, I knew I wanted a van. I have been saving and looking at vans since before I bought the Lexus, since the peach sold basically. And so I have all of these saved vans on Facebook that were in my price range. Some of them were not in my price range, um, but they were kind of close enough to it. And I had a couple of vans that I was really interested in, like very seriously interested in. And the day that um, my buyer was going to fly in the next day, so the day before he came to get it, literally every van that I had had saved, um, sold. So <clears throat> no big deal. Um, I would just keep looking and I knew that I would probably need a jump seat for Ember for whatever van I wind up getting, it being a ProMaster or a Sprinter. So I went to Facebook Market and I searched jump seats for a van. And literally the first post that popped up was this van for sale. And it said just listed. And I'll, like I said in my next video, I'll give you guys all the specs, but let's just say it was too good of a deal that I could not pass it up. So I immediately reached out and I scheduled to come pick it up the next day after I sold the Lexus, I would immediately go, it was three hours away, I'd immediately go pick this up and that was the plan. It was a wild couple of days after that. So the next day, my buyer's flight got delayed by like three hours. And so we still plan on coming, going to pick this van up, but it was gonna be really late. And the guy said that he wouldn't hit, this was at his work, he was the owner and he wouldn't be at work that late. So I was, I was so determined to get this van. I was like, I will send you a deposit. Please just, um, don't sell it. Like I will come pick it up tomorrow. I promise. And he was like, I will take your word for it that you will be here tomorrow. If you really want it, let me know and I'll hold it for you. No problem. He did say he had other, like someone was supposed to come look at it before I even got there. Who was it three hours away? So bless that man for holding this van for me. The Lexus sold and because the guy's flight was delayed and there's a time difference in Hawaii, by the time we went to do the wire transfer, it was already five o'clock in Hawaii and the bank was closing. So the branch manager at the bank where he was transferring the money from, which his mom was sending to me, had to stay late so just to do the transfer. So I didn't even get the funds until the next day. The next day I did get, well, we had an appointment for Isaac's truck to get an oil change and get a fuse change and that wound up taking hours longer than we expected. So we were again running late and I was supposed to be there at one. We didn't even leave until almost noon uh, or at least leave to be on the way. And I stopped at the bank to get money out and the bank that we stopped at was too small of a branch. So they didn't carry that much cash. So I had to go to a different bank. We're already running behind and I feel so guilty. And so I finally get cash in hand and I let the guy know we're running late. I have cash in hand and I'm on my way. And we were scheduled to be there at three, according to our GPS. He said he had to leave at 3.30 for a Christmas party. So we were like cutting it close. But all in all, we showed up and 
everything worked out great. We even um, got the van for $1,000 cheaper than what it was listed for. It's not perfect. It has some quirks, but honestly, it was an amazing deal. So I'm so, so excited. Uh, that being said, I have been working on our shed to house guest space on our property for the last couple of months, which I have been sharing with all of you. And that's been amazing. I can only do so much before we have, before I have to completely stop because we have to replace the roof before we do any actual work on the inside. And that's just not something that's going to be done this winter. So because of where I'm at, I'm still going to be working on it kind of behind the scenes. And I'll share some of that with you guys as I, um, as I go, this van actually has a tow hitch. So I'm going to, um, learn how to tow a trailer with it. And that way I can still work on the tiny house or at least work on the trash that's up there and load the trailer up with trash so I could take it to the dump and just do that slowly over time. I don't want to stop that just because there's so much that even if I do just little by little, it's going to make a big difference over time. So that being said, I feel like it's a good stopping point for me once I get all of the OSB off of the walls in there to continue just to work on the trash outside and stop the shed build. And we'll probably start that sometime uh, next year when the weather starts to not be so crazy and warm up. So that brings me to the Sprinter van. I feel like with me being at the point in the tiny house where I was and this kind of happening so fast and everything just falling together, this is the perfect time to share with you all that this is my next project. So my family lives in Texas and I live in Oregon and I wanted something that I could shoot down to Texas in whenever I felt like it, um, with Ember or without Ember, or even just wherever, take solo mom trips if I need to, take trips with Ember, take trips as a family. Um, it's nice to have my own little space. Isaac has his little space. And so it's just something that I have been dreaming about for many, many years. Even before I bought my first van in 2020, I wanted to do van life for many years before that, and it just wasn't in the cards. And I've I'm finally here. I finally have bought my dream van. It was definitely an uphill climb, but I made it. And I'm really excited to share this next project with all of you. So like I said, my next video is going to be the pre-build van tour. I'm going to show you exactly what I bought for the price I bought it at, how many miles, what year, what um, model, and everything that you could possibly want to know. Hopefully I can cover everything and then we'll jump into the build. And like I said, I'm going to be sharing step-by-step -step everything with you, including price on everything. And I hope that you guys are just as excited as I am. So I'm excited to hear your thoughts as always. And I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you do not miss out. You don't want to miss this. This is going to be so fun. I learned so much on from my first fan build to the peach build one to the peach build two. This is going to be amazing. I've helped Isaac build many buses and... Um, I'm just really excited to jump on this and get it done. I'm hoping to take a big uh, trip either in the spring or summer this year down to Texas and take the van with me. So yeah, I hope you guys are all looking forward to it and I will see you guys on the next video.